I want to keep going. Kings on three. Kings on three. One, two, three. All these candy guys are extremely emotional. We have good morale. We have good spirit. We have good team. Sometimes they don't really play, you know, physical. It's almost just they're playing straight from their heart and mind. That could translate into, you know, emotions being spilled over on the field and brawls happening here and there. It's not out of bad will. I, I know that for sure. You don't understand, Coach. This is about candy. It's in my heart. I've never seen, you know, such a close-knit group of guys. Not only the sport meant a lot to them, but the city that they was represented and their country meant a lot to them. In a in the nutshell, candy is a very chilled out place where you can come and relax and just have a just cool time. It's a uh, very beautiful place and climate is good. The city, I want to say, doesn't have too, it doesn't have more than 100,000 people, so everyone there kind of knows each other. Candy has had really high expectations because they are hoping to be different than every other team in the league and the way they run their offense. My name is uh, Kevin the Buck Medeni. It seems a long name. Everybody call me Box. Um, so I play offensive guard. Without Box, we'd be in trouble. To be really honest with you, Box is pretty much. I guess the glue that like helped our team stay together as far as communication as well as with everything. When I was saying stuff in Candy, it was just a blank stare. And a uh, box came up to me and he said, Coach, uh, a lot of these guys don't understand what you're saying. Um, it's because they don't really know English. I like the sport very much and I picked, I picked it up really easily. And I think we got help from our uh, coach Tim and coach Deontay as well to help us with it. Fox became our team-wide translator, um, you know, for our coaches as well. He's always doing his uh, role like uh, manager, coach and uh, captain, everything. When my head down, uh, we are lost the game. He always telling to me, you don't think, you don't even think about that. Next game, we, we have to win. Everything you you'd ask for in a football player, especially on candy, I'd say he's you know the ideal guy that could could be a coach in this league after you know five six years of football experience. I respect Coach Tim a lot because um, he came out here uh, and it was his first uh, experience as well. He gave so much to the team. Around October, my roommate said, he was, I think he was just messing around on the internet and said, hey, there's a, a football league in India. Um, so I contacted the league and I said, hey, I'm, I'm Sri Lankan. Um, is it cool if I, get, if I join as a coach in any sort of way and be in Sri Lankan, having family here, uh, playing college football in the United States? Um, I told the league, you know, I'm in. Oh, hey, right seven, right seven. I think we're like complete opposites. He's screaming all the time. He's, he may curse the guy every now and then. And once they walk past him, I'm like, it'll be all right. Coach Deontay is the quietest, but he's like the coolest as well. Deontay is a great coach, um, very laid back guy. Um, He's got a lot of football experience. Hey, D-line, we got to make tackles. You all are getting in the backfield and running past the running back. The players respect him. Um, he's, a, he's a hell of a coach. He's a great job with our defense. Coach Tim is a good man, and he always uh, help, help to us. He made sure he come to our hotel every single night before a match and motivates us. Even in the field, he screams his lungs out just to get everything sorted out. Hey, where's Konar? Konar! Candy's quarterback, Kanishka Kanara, they call Kona, runs the ball extremely well. And we have seen from him at times where he may not be 100%, but he gives it everything he has. Uh, my name is Kanishka Konara, and I am playing quarterback in my team. Konar is probably one of the toughest football players I've seen in, in my life. I've played football for the last 10 years. Never met anyone as tough as him. Kona, he's a quarterback. Uh, he's a close friend of mine. Um, I, think, I think he's like one of the best players I've ever seen. He, he's a really good quarterback and he's a really good captain as well. Captain. It's like uh, whole city is in my hand, I think. <laughs> Candy Sky Kings, Sky Kings depend on me and I have to lead this uh, team for win.
We have like all sort of uh, players, like you know, we have people who played rugby before. Wada. He's a national player, national rugby player. He played for Kingswood and he was in the Sri Lankan team as well. My name is Chedi Wadagur uh, and my position is now I'm playing strong safety. He's a hard player. Uh, he, he don't like to blame him. I told you what they were going to do. I tell you this because I'm watching film. I know what they're going to do. Wada is, uh, he's a great kid, one of the hardest working guys on our team. He's one of our captains. Rugby uh, helped me to play this uh, angle football because I'm playing the defending side. The Raga players, they are putting that uh, kit and we can put hard game. They are put hard uh, tackling. And I played in rugby I'm as a flanker. Flank is the always he's going to tackle. Candy's middle linebacker, who's named Wada, is one of the strongest players in this league. It's amazing how well he plays the position for as short a time as he's been playing it. A rule that I had on the team was a, was a 72 hour rule where you don't talk to girls, you don't talk to you know females, you don't mess around, anything you know 72 hours before the football game, which was kind of like every, every other day basically. Wada's got a, he's got a girlfriend. I saw him, we were, we were at a team meeting and um, he was on the phone, and I said, "Who is that? Is that is that Vodana? And and he said, "He said no, coach." And I said, "Who's that? Your mom?" No, my my mom passed away. The tsunami hit Sri Lanka in 2004, and it was devastating. It was very devastating. But I think it, it, when it happened, we really thought, "Oh, it's just like you know, a little bit of you know, uh, it's nothing." But the, the numbers were really high, and I think it kind of shook. The whole world. I think what 110,000 people lost their lives in one day. I mean, it was just ridiculous. I mean, but it is what it is. It's just life out here. Um, when that was happening, 2004, uh, December 26th, uh, we went a trip uh, that vacation. My family couldn't get in contact with my family in Sri Lanka. Obviously, there's power cuts. There's nothing, you know, and and they're freaking out. The first wave came. It's not a big one, but after that, uh, came the biggest wave, and we all spread out. We are going every place. We can't see what happened. Only maybe coming 20 foot or maybe 25 foot that long the water. About after 10, 15 minutes, the all water back to sea going down. Can't get in contact with the family, don't know what's going on, you know, don't know who's alive, who's dead. My whole family is lost. And after we are looking everything, only three is missing. My sister and my sister's daughter and my wife, all lost. And about it's the 12 o'clock, uh, we found a body that my cousin's sister is dead. Uh, after uh, 12, that's 3 o'clock, uh, we found my cousin aunt, she's dead. And the last thing, at 4 o'clock, my father went to the hospital. Uh, they told a uh, lot of bodies came to the hospital. And my father came and told him that uh, mother's also dead. And last thing. Right then and there, you're like, you know, there's a reason why this kid's, you know, so hard-nosed and such a hard worker, such a good leader. I mean, it's just the stuff that he's been through in his life, you know. I didn't show it. I left, you know. I went to the bathroom, teared up a little bit, came back to the meeting, didn't want to show that, you know, it affected me at all. I see my son in the playing the game. I am very happy. This is the first game in the first Sri Lanka, in the first game, no? Great guy. Plays with so much heart. Um, every day, every we, we we saw him the first day of practice. Me and Deontay, and we said right away, that's that's our starting middle linebacker. No questions asked. He gets the defensive. Uh, uh, all the players pumped up as well. He's the middle linebacker. He's a really good player. He he's he's not afraid of a tackle. When I first got there, he wouldn't stop tackling people, and at this point, we didn't have any pads. When I put my pads and helmets, I am feeling, I want to hit. I want to hit someone, I want to take him down. I've never seen just a group of, you know, kids that were just bonded, hard-working, hard-nosed kids, you know, 
tough as nails. You know, before 09, you had the Civil War going on, uh, basically between the Singhalese, which is the South, and the Tamils, which is the North. Um, went on for, I think, I think the whole thing, you know, when it was all said and done, maybe about 30 years. And I kept hearing like how bad it was for Tamils here, uh, which is why like a lot of them went to different countries. Lots of people died on both sides. There were problems or like those days, but I think it is nice to like have a mix of people. We have all the all region groups, different ethnics. Now uh, you got these same kids playing together on the same football team. I mean. I get to practice each day in the morning. I see Singhalese, Tamils, uh, Buddhist, Hindu, Christian, atheist, English speaking, non-English speaking. Everybody is working as a team and this this game has actually made them come much closer. He's my friend and he's going to help me in the match. He's next to me, I have to trust him. I think we are a very tight team. I think we, we went there as players, but I think we came out as brothers. <laughs> 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 <laughs>